What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. We continue our reading of the fabulous book, What Has Government Done to Our Money by Murray Rothbard, available on Mises.org. And uh, now we go to the second part and the first chapter, Money in a Free Society and the Value of Exchange. How did Bitcoin begin? Clearly, Alice had no need for money. She could not have eaten Bitcoin. Neither could Bob or Alice and Friday uh, perhaps exchange fish for lumber, need to bother about Bitcoin. But when society expands beyond a few families, the stage is already set for the emergence of Bitcoin. To explain the role of Bitcoin, we must go even further back and ask, why do man exchange at all? Exchange is the prime basis for our economic life. Without exchange, there would be no real economy and practically no society. Clearly, a voluntary exchange occurs because both parties expect to benefit. An exchange is an agreement between Alice and Bob to transfer the goods or services of one peer for the goods and services of the other. Obviously, both benefit because each value what he receives in exchange more than what he gives up. When Alice says exchange some fish for lumber, she values the lumber she buys more than the fish she sells, while Bob, on the contrary, values the fish more than the lumber. From Aristotle to Marx, Peers have mistakenly believed that an exchange records some sort of equality of value. That is one barrel of fish in exchange for 10 logs, there is some sort of underlying equality between them. Actually, the exchange was made only because each party valued the two products in different order. Why should exchange be so universal among peers? Fundamentally, because the great variety in nature, the variety in peers, and the diversity of location of natural resources. Every peer has a different set of skills and aptitudes, and every plot of ground has its own unique features, its own distinctive resources. From this external natural fact, of variety comes exchange. Wheat in Kansas for iron in Minnesota. One peer's medical service for another's playing of the violin. Specialization permits each peer to develop his best skill and allows each region to develop its own practical resources. If no one could exchange, if every man were forced to be completely self-sufficient, it is obvious that most of those would starve to death and the rest would barely remain alive. Exchange is the lifeblood, not only of our economy, but of civilization itself. Pierce, that was chapter one on the value of free exchange and why it is so fundamental in every aspect and why Alice and Bob do it voluntarily. And we will continue this discussion on what has government done to our money here on the World Crypto Network on the next show of Bitcoin to the max. And thank you for supporting uh, this show here on tallyco.in slash Max, where you can get already right now a list of all these chapters pre-recorded for a small donation. Thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.